So now we just hanging out with our friends, being pals. Because no one dies in Don Gunrope. Huh? No oh, that reminds me, Kazuichi told me to come to the beach, and I totally forgot. It would probably help me if I ditch him, so I guess I should go. Say hello to the first secret event of the game. What's up? Oh. Uh, right. Oh, here it comes! I was waiting for you, Hajime! Hello there. Jeez, making me wait like that? You're such a naughty little kitten. Huh? You're here too, Tiro Tiro? <laughs> to be able to taste the natural flavor of freshly pickled coconuts. I spend most of my time in places like Aoyama and Azuba. Freshly Azabu. pickled coconuts, eh? So this is something I really get to experience. Did I read that wrong? Or does, does freshly he, picked is... coconuts, Gabe, not pickled. Oh. <laughs> I was very confused, like, who the fuck pickles coconuts? <laughs> I was- I honestly was like, okay, this guy's fucking weird. <laughs> Glad to see it's just me. My curiosity as a chef has stimulated me. I think that's not the only thing that stimulated you. Come on, this is the coconut we were looking for. Oh, it's pretty big. <laughs> that's what she yeah. said. Yeah, sure, it's got loads of juices inside of it. That's what she said. How you do it? How are you gonna split it open? Huh? Eh? Well, actually, he's gonna split it with a bang with his replica sword of his. No way! If I try to split it open, I might spill the juices all over the place. Right. Taro, Taro, do you already know? You split these things when you cook them, right? Um... No. I don't use such barbaric cooking mat technique. Understand. My style is to use a sensitive, delicate touch, no matter who or what I'm handling. Part of me kind of wants to fuck Taro, Taro, just to know what it's like. How about it? Care for a taste? You know, science. Who the f- Who the f- Where the fuck did you come from? I've got a gaggle of goosebumps all over my skin! Honk, honk, honk. Is there a duck around here? Or maybe a goose? Whoa! Ibuki, when did you. <laughs> I just got here! <laughs> I was holding hands with Pekko and going for a walk when I saw you guys! Hey, that's lewd. No. We were not holding hands. Mm -hmm. I can't stop drooling. Yes, I see it. A moist lily glistening with morning dew blooming vibrantly on a tropical island. I'm pretty sure when the sun goes down, this Pekko is the one who frogs in this spooky slowly field at night. Hey. Do not fantasize about weird things. And? More importantly, what are you all huddling around for? Well... Uh, well, actually, we really want to split open this coconut so we can drink the juice inside of it. I see. I see. Hey. Hajime, let me borrow that replica sword of yours. Uh, okay. Then... Ibuki, and if it's not too much trouble, could you please rotate the coconut so it's facing up? Yes! Roger Dodger, you're totally into this, aren't you, Pekko? Hey, hey! If you split it up like that, the juice won't just spill out or splatter all over us! <laughs> Oh, fresh coconut lotion. Would it be better if I take off my clothes first? I would not make such a mistake. All you need to be ready. All you need to do is be ready to catch what's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, so cool. I might just fall in love with those quiet words of yours. No, now then, no. here I come. Ready, set. <laughs> Now I've done it, it fell right out of my hand! More to the right! The hand you received change with! Oh, but it, it'd be the other hand if you're holding a purse! What? <laughs> Let's go. This level of adjustment is not a problem. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Link. Great success, Paco Paco! Once again, I have cut a worthless object. So how is it? Is it the coconut taste you've been longing for? It's so yummy! Fucking hate coconut. <laughs> the smell is to die for, and it's perfectly right. It tastes like the Kalakaua Road at night. Um, um does that mean it's tasty? 
Yeah, it's so good it makes all the coconut juice I've drank up until now seem like total sham. <laughs> then Ibuki's gonna have some too! You too, Paco Paco! No. Ah, uh, no, I... Please, drink some. We wouldn't have been able to enjoy such tasty juice if it weren't for you. That's right! I finally get to taste this tropical island sensation! Seriously, Paco! Thanks, oh. Paco! Yes, that's <laughs> about it. I'm starting to come up with a new coconut recipe in my mind. When it's finished, it'd be nice if Miss Paco could sample my dish. Honestly. You're all just exaggerating. I only did what I can. Not bad. But if you're enjoying yourselves because of that, then I'm truly glad. After having ourselves a good time, all thanks to Pekka, we went back to our cottages. Did that actually take up a time slot? Uh, no, I don't reason know. to hold up my room and stare blank on the space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. <sighs> I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there will be moments called free time. During free time, you will be able to strengthen your friendship by spending time with the other students. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might even make a better impression. You can obtain presents for the Mono Mono Yashin and the vending machine at the supermarket. When you strengthen friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you gathered to Usame via the report card, you can gain Yeah, she's just the store now. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass, and you will return to your conch afterwards. After passing the time several times, your free time will end and you will come to on to the main story. By the way, you can skip free time by resting in your cottage bed. Although I don't really recommend it, please use it if you want to just continue the main story right away. I saw someone on YouTube, he literally would just sleep every time. Never talk to anybody. Ew. What's the point? I know. Right? Maybe he just doesn't like social sims or something? Hmm. Alright, so you uh, remember who we're gonna hang out with? Yes. Can you take your items for me real quick? Coconut juice. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you just need coconut juice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coconut juice is one of the few things that Nagito likes, so... We're good. We may so. want to get more at some point, but it's fine. We have the mono mono machine now. It's if so you want to go do the mono machine, I'm going to in just a second. I don't know how so much today, money we have though. So today, you're gonna hang out with me, Kansu Miki. Mm, we're gonna hang out with Nagi Tokumaida. <laughs> ah ah, Nagi Tokumaida. Ah ah. Um. Oh, that's good. That's good. So this is how this works. In Deedle. Um. Okay, so he's down at the beach. Good to know. I would not be fast traveling because I want my Usami. Pet. Yes. Your Tamagotchi. Look at those knees. So, where's the monomo machine? On the beach. On the beach. Beach. <laughs> oh, is Nicky that what that mono head was? What? Is that what that mono mono head was? That not, yes, not mono, the one on the, the tree. Mono one. Yeah. The mono mono yashin is the tr is the palm tree. It's yeah. weird. That's not right. What? I can't interact with the tree. Unless I have to interact with the top of the tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, um... You found all three mon hidden Monokuma so far, right? I... Including the tutorial one? Mm-hmm. Because uh, I'm yes. just confused as to why you have 20 coins. Is it because you bought a few mineral waters? Maybe it's, I think it's because you bought a few mineral waters. Yes. And ramenades. Okay, yeah. The more coins you put into the tree, the bigger it gets. So I'd suggest put all your coins in it. You don't have to spend them. Just put them all in there. 
Wait, what do you... Put all... Oh, insert you... all your coins. Don't spend them. Just insert them. You see all the little guys? You didn't have enough to make the tree bigger, but the tree will get bigger the more coins you put in. Okay. It expands. Expand tree. So is there a lucky function in this? Mm-hmm. But since oh, you're not the lucky student in this one, um, it's more so based off how much money you put in. The more money you put in, the more likely you are to get lucky. I remember when I was doing it, I, I was putting in like 80 coins every time, and with that I would get lucky like six times in a row. At this point it's not worth me doing that, but I'll keep that in mind for later. Yeah. Slowly, one after another. Wow, I've got a lot of fucking slinkies. Yeah. I'm that bunch. Hey, it's that book. Alright. Should probably get going. I wonder where we're gonna be going to. Uh, so you're sure I just need to hang out with him. There's nothing else I need to do? Nope. You're good. Okay. Oh, Nagito. Okay. Biaki is very reliable, uh, as, ex uh, sorry. as expected the ultimate affluent progeny. <laughs> With everyone working together under such a splendid leader, we'll be able to overcome any difficulty. What should I do? Should I ask Nagito if he wants to hang out? All right. Then let's do, do what we can. Give him that coconut juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure to give him all my coconut juice, just as our leader order, order us to. I spent time with Nagito today, looking for clues. Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Nagito a present? Definitely. So, just the coconut juice. Mm -hmm. Interesting. He also uh, likes mineral water, but we don't have any. Huh? Huh? I can have this? Thanks. It's really generous of you to give a gift to a piece of trash like me. What? Hajime, are you feeling sick? Huh? No, no, not at all. Nope. I see, then it's okay. I thought you looked pale or something. I thought something was worrying you. I bet it'd be a weird if you weren't worrying in a situation like this. Nagito is laughing in a carefree way, but seeing him laugh like that was enough to distract me from my worries. Huh? What? Is something wrong? No, how should I put it? I was just thinking all the ways you've been helping me so far. Thank you. Wow. No, I haven't done anything to receive your thanks. But for someone like me to be useful to you and even receive your, your words of gratitude makes me happy. You're being too hard on yourself. I mean, my talent is just having good luck. It's not like it comes from hard work, and it's not like I can use it to do anything amazing. Regardless of how lucky I am, or if that luck even exists, I'm just too unimpressive to truly matter. Unlike you guys. Why do you sound so happy about that? It's possible that my talent might be more meaningless than yours, you know. I mean, I can't even remember what it is. There's no mistake. That's not true. I'm sure you have an amazing talent. Sort of what you I know. mean, if you if you didn't, you wouldn't have been accepted to Hope Speak Academy. Somehow, when I see the Nagito doesn't doubt me at all, I start to believe he's right. He really does help me in so many ways. Okay. I know. If you'd like, I, let me help you remember. Let's see. A talent that suits Hajime. I see. What about the ultimate ser Serenity? Which part of me did you? Which part of me did you look at to come up with a title like that? Is that even a useful ability? Mm, I'm pretty sure the ability to bring serenity to others just by being there really is amazing. Let's see. <laughs> what about the ultimate clumsy student? Still need... Sailor Moon. Okay, I needed to be sure that ultimate serenity was also highlighted like that. Yeah. Well, considering that I suddenly forgot what my talent was, that might be fairly accurate. Mm. Then what about the ultimate scatterbrain? Don't go that far, I don't want to be an ultimate talent like that. Wow. Hey, don't take it seriously, it was just a little joke. And then, <laughs> how about the ultimate spiky hair? That's not an ability at all. I know, right? <laughs> right? But it's gonna be fine, I'm positive you have a talent that's brimming with hope. Jeez, he's totally messing with me. But thanks to him, my feelings are lighter than they were before. Could it be? Was that his goal all along? If so, maybe he's a good person after all. 
Well, I guess it's too early to say. I need to get to know him better from now on. I hope we get to understand each other better, even if it's a little bit at a time. Hope Fragment. Nagato's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. I was completely exhausted from being out with Nagito all day, so I returned to my room. Still worried out, and I've got some time left. I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. So I guess it didn't. So do you want to hang out with Nagito again? Because I mean, if yeah. you do, we're going to have to have a different item. So look at your items real quick. Fudge. All right. Ideally, we would just give him another coconut juice or mineral water. But you don't have any of those. Only a light gift? Yeah. We're still pretty low. We don't want to give him the higher stuff until, you know, we and get to that. And those are his only light gifts? Yeah, coconut juice and mineral water. That's it. For two hope fragments. Does he like the Mesopotamia? No. Why is it called the Mesopotamia? It said its unique form was crafted by an ancient Sumerian god. It's a slinky! Ooh, man, that Mesopotamia. Nobody loves it. A Does few people like, like it? it, though. Okay, so we have some liked gifts for people. Okay, so we have one of two things we can do. Either I hang out with someone else, or I can run around for the next, like, eight minutes to get my pet to hatch. What? What? I got an achievement. Oh. Walking the walk. Probably for just walking a certain amount of steps. I've now walked 5,000 steps, guys. Woo! feel like I've done more, to be honest. Okay. The total steps for the island is about 126. Yeah, it's been 350 steps. Also, I like how there's that pr uh, pudgy princess girl in the background of the of the room. You know, the one that Hifumi liked. Which proves that Hifumi's not dead. He now is a uh, transgender rabbit. Fair. Mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm back. Hello? Did you finish? Hello. Did you finish it? There we go. Oh, okay. There are only six steps left. I was waiting for you. Oh? You saw me laid an egg. Bunnies definitely don't lay eggs. Sure. Hey, it's fine. He wants to give you something. Menacing focus skill? Yep. Usami gives you the best stuff. 200 monocoins and a century putpourri. Everybody loves that. So it's very good. Also, so, this is really random, but I was looking on Uber Eats while I was in the bathroom and I found this burger joint. <sighs> Tell me how one of their burgers is named the Cheesy Burger, but it's got four E's. Also, their entire, like, count on this thing it's in all caps but um it says we encourage you to pronounce all four e's when you order cheesy burger and then right below that they have something called the nine patty burger nine nine yep. patties what uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> personally the way i feel about burgers is this i'd rather have a wide burger than a tall burger because while I may be able to fit a tall burger in my mouth because I have a huge ass mouth, that doesn't mean I want to dislocate my jaw every time I do it. Yeah. And I will fucking dislocate my jaw to fit the entire burger in my mouth. Bet. They have a lot of stuff too. Like they make homemade fries. Or not fries, um, chips. They make chips. They make Irish nachos. Mac and cheese bites. They usually have tater tots, but they're out of stock right now. So Some should I... Buy a handful of these waters, then? Um, yeah, buy five waters and five ramen. -ay. I'm not sure I can afford that. 
Yeah. Don't think you can. Should I buy one of these things just to have it for next time, or, sh or are we good for a while? Uh, we're good for a while. We're good for the m entire rest of this chapter and next chapter, so... Okay, cool. Yeah. Should probably get going. So we're gonna go back to the beach, guys. We're gonna go chill out with... Let's go to the beach, each. And Ninky Minjage. So as the game goes on, I'll be attempting to get all the different pets. So should I go for despair on this one? Sure. Okay. Uh, never clean up after this little shit until it almost dies and then take care of it. Yes, I would suggest giving it, um, like, eight hope, though. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I thought, whoa. Really? Yeah. I, I was thinking of trying to make Monokuma. And you require hope for Monokuma? I'm assuming Monokuma is one of them. I... believe so. Yes, for Monokuma you need 9 to 10 hope, and you need 0 to 5... Wait, no. 9 to 10 hope, and 6 to 9 despair. Okay. Because Monokuma is half hope, half despair, Gabe. That's the whole design. Yeah, that's fair. You're right. But also, fuck you. Also, there's six. So you've gotten Snake in me, which is Hope need a zero to two, Despair need a zero to five, probably the most average. And then you've gotten Usami. Purchase. Just um, how many of these? If I could make a suggestion. What? I would suggest What's only that? giving it one hope, so just buy like one water and give it that, and then put it up to nine despair, or like six despair. Sure. You can make the suggestions. Doesn't mean I'll listen. I'll beat the fuck out of you, you so you said one hope? And one hope, so give nine? it the one ramen once it hatches. And it's eight to nine, right? Uh, six to nine. Oh, six nine. Okay, then I'll just put it at six, so I have a little bit of a buffer. Shut up. Sorry. I heard that. I don't know what you're talking about. That's crazy. Oh, look, it already pooped. I'm assuming he's here, but really, I don't even know. Um, while we're still here... No, he's not here. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to play this a little bit. So give me just a second to shoot my shot. So, real quick, put in a bunch, because I want you to see what it looks like with a fuck ton in there. It doesn't go up past like that. This is the last one, I think. But okay. Look how big it Definitely is. There's cool. a rainbow, and everybody's happy. It's a chunky boy. Lucky! <laughs> Toilet paper! Uh, perfect for this corona time. It'll cure me of my corona. Mm. Totally didn't just get demonetized because I totally have monetization. Yeah. We stand making money in this household. Oh, well, there's the Mesopotamia stand. again. I hate it. <laughs> there's meth. Methamphetamines. Ooh, uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's one of Mekon's loves. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, you said it was good, so I had to get two in a row. It's a dishwasher. I don't know. Is that either like a dishwasher or a laundry machine? That's not or... alcoholic wine. Maybe it's just like a bread maker. Who knows? Maybe it's Maybelline. Looks like my bread maker. Hey, what do you have there? A knife! A flashlight. I thought it, I just don't want to say it. That's a bold shit. Same. That's a no, sword, sword from the first game. 
Also, what we needed for the secret of that. I didn't know you could just get all the items via this. Yeah, you can. But obviously, since it's random and you need the items by like certain points, it's better to just buy them from the vending machine. Yeah, unless I just get them through doing this. I mean, because, you know, it costs 50 points to buy them, so if I just were to randomly get this, it would save me 50 points. Or it would save me 49 points. Yes. That's a doll! I love I don't think... I haven't seen any of the stuff? other items that we need so far. Because there's three more. Okay, I lied. We got one of them that we needed. Now we need two more. Nice. We actually may have gotten the other one already. That'd be great. So we just need two now. I really am the ultimate lucky student. Yeah. Torpedo! Gotta get some toilet paper. Okay, wait, I'm so confused. What? <sighs> what? Oh, shit. What do we need? What? So one of the other scenes was also in this chapter, I think. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? I just got an achievement to help me complete this game. Collected 50 unique presents. Okay, so... Oh, wait. One of the what, other events one? is this chapter, but I think we haven't missed it yet. I'm pretty okay. sure. Um, should I do it now or is it later? Lucky. No, I Funnel think cake. we're good. I think we're fine. Lucky. Oh, nice necklace. A knife. A knife. No. A crowbar. Gordon Freeman. Hello, Mr. Freeman. Wake up, Mr. Freeman. How's that? A ring. Put a ring on it. <laughs> Warm up. Oof. Fucking skull. Okay. I'm almost to my point. I'll stop at a certain point. Is that a ball gag? It looks like it, yeah. Hey, Torpedo. More non-alcoholic wine. There we go. 50-50. So we have a 50% chance of already having the thing we need. So should I check my present and you tell me whether I have what I need for it over event? Okay, so I know we have the second one because we bought it. Uh, hold on one sec. Eh, go back down. Eh, right there. Hold on. What? What? <sighs> okay. Alright, what's the one below that? Um, RC four WD Battle Toro. Okay, yeah, that's one we need for later. No. Nope. All right, yeah, we're missing two of them. Um, so we were going to be hanging out <sighs> with Nagi. He might be on Jabberwock. No? What? What? Um... I... What? Can we not hang out with Nagito? Um, you might just be standing around. Try walking around the island. Shouldn't that show it here? I don't... I don't know, Gabriel. Just try. Level up. I don't 
think he's out here. Because I'm pretty sure I would have noticed him. I'm pretty sure there's only two people out here on this island. Which means I need to go over to the Jabberwock Park to see if he's just standing out around there. Also, you might want to check your pet. Just to make sure they don't die. I want it to get to spare. Yeah, but you don't want it to die. It will die if it shits too much. Okay. The spareometer is only at one. Okay, you're fine. Nagi, where are you? Hey, Nagi. What's my Wait. name? Yeah, okay. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Shut up. Explore. Feels dangerous that this little area off on the side that has no danger currently. Unless with the ultimate, like, radar or something. Just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure he's not. So yeah, I don't think we can hang out with Nagito today. Maybe not. Wild. I didn't knew about that. Life. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna hang out with Mikan? Sure, we have the waters. This is Mikan, right? Yes. Yeah. Mikan's sneaky. Okay, we need six to spare, so I'm gonna real quick build up the spare two more. Well, you might want to get rid of that poop. So I think Why? if there's too much poop, it'll die. Oh, I thought it just sped up the despair rate. No. Okay, so that's the lowest you need. Yeah. There we go. Our pet will grow up to be happy and healthy. Filled with a moderate amount of despair and very little hope. Just like me. Um, even though we're on a tropical island with such a beautiful seaweed, can't really enjoy it at all. I really wanted to swim a little more. What should I do? Should I get Mikan to hang out? No. Yes. Um, then, can we play together on the beach? <laughs> I'm sorry for jumping ahead. Of course, if you don't want to, it's fine. I spent time today playing on the beach with Mikan. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give? Yes, absolutely, definitely. Just water or ramen, she likes both. Is this something you throw or hit things with? If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'll make sure to I take good care of it. Despite the fact that we hit to say hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. What's with this all of a sudden? I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? <laughs> what should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took my clothes off? Hold on. Why are you reacting like that? I mean, I'm not saying no, but... You're right. You don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my money? Seriously, hold on. No use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is gonna get even worse. All right, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. Talk? Um. Today is such a beautiful day. Yeah. I'm sorry. Should I take my clothes off? Yes. 
Yes. For no reason other than the fact that uh, we were always hor uh, horny on me. Yes. Seriously, you don't have to do anything like Damn that. Damn you, Haji. This is trebly. I guess I should just start talking to me kind of about something. Alright, so what do you about. think she'd like to talk Bandage. about? Yeah, there you go. Because she's probably really just into medical fuel. Amikon, what kind of bandage do you like the most? Bandage? <laughs> Let's see, there are a lot of different types these days. It's extremely convenient because they're all water there are waterproof types and sticky types. So yeah, she reminds me of uh, Chihiro. Extremely out of her element, but when they're in their element, boom. Mm. But I definitely like non-elastic types the best. That they're not too constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> really? Um, then let's call it a day for now. Um, yes. if it's not too much trouble for you, I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, anytime. Thank you very much. Uh... <laughs> we decided to go our separate ways for now. She's so but for some fucking reason, cute. I feel like Mekon was staring at my back a little too long. Hate to Give see you leave, but I love to watch you go. <laughs> She's not a bad person, but I really don't know how to communicate with her that well. Alright. For now, I decided to return to my room. Ding dong. Dong, bing, bing bong. Bing, dong, 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 dong. Eh, the bell just now, could it be? Ahem. It is officially nighttime. The Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hello, everyone. The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin. I wonder what festivities await you. Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise. It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. I was wrong. What, you thought it was the nighttime announcement? Yep. Did you just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night, what's he up to? Suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and the goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except to listen to him. Damn it, where is it now? I know it said what, but who cares? So, what do you think this is about? Motive? Okay. Okay. I mean, he said the fun's about to begin, so that's how he kicks stuff off. Unless, you know, there's about to be a dead body. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very different atmosphere to the first game. You know, this one's, you know, at during the day it seems all bright and lively, but here at night that actually kind of reminds me of a horror game. You know. Oh, hey, Becca Pekiyama. Pekka, you came too, huh? I have no choice. After all, the e-handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. However, it would be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway, at any rate, we must go to the park. I guess I have no choice, huh? So we know a bit more about her now. The fact that she's... A, we already knew that she was level-headed, but we know that she is against retaliation currently. She's going to wait it out and see if there's any good way to... Oh, a concert? Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. 
Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Oh, what is it this time? So friggin' annoying! Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... I mean, well, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> eh, since, it's not, since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? Are you? What the fuck did you just say? Wait! Stop it, you two! Fighting amongst friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you say friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, dumbass! When have I become friends with you bastards? Eh? Hm. Let me be perfectly clear. Do it, you know. Huh? Huh? You. You. What did you just say? Oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said, I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? If you're Hiko, why don't you try to calm down for a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. You live in a completely different world than you bastards. Can't we be killed? That's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. And the current rules make more sense to me than that plain nice and get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap! If any of you guys want to die, step forward! I'll fucking kill you right now! I'm starting to get pumped up! Sounds... Fuck. I haven't voiced this picture in a while. Sounds fun, <laughs> give me your best shot! She's like drunk all the What's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Fuyuhiko, I understand what you're saying. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I thought I was the same way as you. Treat me like, you treat me like a kid, kid too. Let me say this. But what you what would recklessly killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. You what did you just say? Listen. Listen, so long as we're here, I'll not let any of you die. I'll not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I will not let you die. <sighs> what the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke. My name is but I am Byaki Togami, and I am destined to bring about these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yeah, how was that? He, what the fuck? Sorry. He's so cool. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> eh, I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty that I've appointed to myself. Seems like Biaka has resolved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fugiko really meant what you said earlier, right? Hmm. Thanks, I hate it. Just put a yellow uh -huh. wig on and use Donald Trump. Bubbling. Oh god, you're right. It looks like you guys were arguing! Sorry, I wasn't sure you wanted to actually show up! It looks like I showed up at an awkward time! Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Oh, did I mention in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time! Oh, do not tell me you're going to. Correct! That's right, since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? However... But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Do not drag you saw me into this. Of course! Of course not! That's why I brought my partner! <laughs> but what is this? Meaningless. That figures. Thank you for waiting. 
Now then, without any further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side-spinning live two-man comedy show! Hey. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this! Are you telling me I have to improvise? How Speechless. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um, I'm Monami! And together we are the Monokuma! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities. Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food is... Kumpai. You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Kid. That's right. Dabbers. I never eat a dead body. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. What? There's no way I can do that. No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the Comedeity, then I'll Deity. need a lot of blood! <laughs> so, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm. Pretty please. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood! You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga! Well, I mean, if it's Bleach, that's actually really bad. But if it's, like... Yeah, but... He's the underdog! Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain! I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories! Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy! What a shocker! Oh, uh... I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. <laughs> Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. That's crazy. <sighs> totally right, Monokuma. <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. S seriously, this is bad in so many ways. I'm through dealing with you. <laughs> His backhand is far too powerful. Huh? That's... What did he mean? Hey, hey! How was it? Was it funny or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? Oh, you mean how I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Her school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Cause I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. It's all thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family, huh? They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible! Her school memories are stolen? That's ridiculous! 
That's right, there's no way I have memory loss. You can't. Don't listen to what he says. <laughs> Limit breached. I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> You're lying, right? S stealing our memories, that's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. No, if it's not a lie, if it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope Street Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually, hmm, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think, I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in a heavy, gasping breath. So a long time has passed since then? It's really lucky that none of us changed anything about ourselves in the past couple years. Because imagine if one of us decided to cut our hair short who had long hair. Or, you know, somebody were to have gotten an injury or something, or... I mean, well, they wouldn't you know, remember. Somebody were to have grown. Somebody were to have grown during high school. I mean, they wouldn't have remembered. That's crazy. It's almost like they took your memories. No, I'm, I'm saying... Literally, just like... You remember what happened before high school, you go into high school, suddenly you have short hair and you're a foot taller. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Come on! They they lost their memories, Gabe. Uh, they, they didn't lose their memory from before, and they can look in a fucking mirror. Yeah, but they look how they looked when they entered school. Is the point. Wiping up memories doesn't change your physiological condition. What? No, but they just they didn't change what they looked like. Yeah, I know, it's dumb. <laughs> Do you understand how much normal people change during high school? No. They at least grow a couple inches. I didn't. Short. Fuck you, bitch. Impossible. There's no way. Like... On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's... Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Huh? Hey, um... However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> Murder! <laughs> Figured out a rat yet? Right. You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Ooh, uh... hey, hey. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, man. Then you better start killing a penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Piss me off. Hey, stop running your mouth. Why? Why? Why so angry? I'm just providing a little motive from the bottom of my big generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding service. That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional ramblings would convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory lost crap in the first place. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Hmm. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope Speak Academy were arranged to come to this island... Got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I didn't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. You... What are you saying? All of this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It is obviously nonsense. Lame! For real, you guys? How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know of each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh down awful? Awful. Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. If you want to survive, you got to find that person before they find you. <laughs> you 
even after Makuma's boisterous laughter faded away. We all just stood there. Ugh, oh, no. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. Honagi. Deadly despair, it deadly hell, deadly us. compromise. Is it true? Is there really a traitor amongst us? Uh, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I won't believe. Hey, Monami, you would know. Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, um, I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our very best. Huh? Uh, she ran away. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, I'm trying to figure out what exactly all of this would be. Where the plot's going to be going from here. Okay. Assuming everything Monokum has said up to this point is at least partially true. I'm just looking at those paper um, lanterns and thinking about how they look like beach balls. I thought the same thing. Um, thinking about how it could all very well be true. It may be that one of us... It may, it may be that Byakuya is the 16th, and that's why he's here. He is Mr. Not Supposed to Be Here, and as yeah. such, there isn't a traitor, there's just somebody who is not originally supposed to be a part of the group. And it could also be that one of us was not doing great, but accepted the memory loss thing as a chance of redemption, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it's not us. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not... Uh, see, yeah. Fine. Moving on! Memory loss of traitor, it's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass! As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all my school memories, everything a traitor hiding among us. But what really struck me was what Monokuma said. You guys don't know anything about each other. Dong. Bing. Bing. Bong. Bong. School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay, I actually adore that hood. Yeah, it's cute. Her it backpack me of, like, too, I don't know Enderman. if you see it, but her backpack is also a cat. I figured, yeah. It looks like a cat Enderman to me. <laughs> this is your leader's a catman. Just so you all know, do not think about necessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monkuma's morning announcement. How troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Uh. That's not how that saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. What do we say, you simp? S to the to be honest, to the I don't... M to the P. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? The hell, I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed on my bed. 
So Hajime came to the same conclusion I did, which is hopefully not the case. Immediately I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing that I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. They say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary, but if someone can actually make the impossible possible, you can truly call the person who doesn't have the impossible. Okay. Dong. Bing. Bong. Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. Goodbye, despair. We're gonna be just moving on. We're gonna um, be hanging there out because there... we're just friends and nobody dies in Danganronpa. There is no deaths in Danganronpa. There is no war in Passing Say. Exactly. Goodbye.